All right, welcome back, guys. Today I am flying down to Belize. Uh, this is the first trip that I've done. It's like a big trip since leaving Europe, and unfortunately, Courtney is not coming. But this is a work trip, so I'm flying down to do a humanitarian mission uh, for the military. We're going to do some optometry work with them. There's a full medical team going, but this is uh, this is a little raw travel vlog and uh, what we did while we were down there. So let's go catch this flight. All right, so Belize, for those of you that don't know, is a country in Central America to the east of Guatemala. I flew in from Oklahoma and had a two hour delay in Houston, Texas, before continuing on to Belize for a total travel time of six hours. And like I said before, this is a work trip, so the only time that I'm gonna be able to see the coast is when I fly in and out of Belize. So good morning guys, we got into Belize yesterday and pretty much just hung out at the airport waiting for the other people to come in, checked into the hotel and it was dark so I didn't do any filming but today's the first day of the actual TDY where we set up the humanitarian aid, uh, see what that's like. Uh, I've never done one of these missions before so pretty excited. Um, we're heading down to meet up, it's 6.30 and uh, then we're going to head out to wherever the location is that we're going to be doing all this stuff from. Our hotel was located in Orange Walk and we drove south to a small village called Carmelita. Once we arrived we had a quick huddle to discuss the location and setup of our equipment and then quickly began to unpack and get everything set up. Each team brought their own gear and tools and the optometry clinic had a lot of stuff. We had seven vans that carried all of us and our gear to the location and back to the hotel each day. It is hot, so we've unloaded the vans and now we're going to set up our optometry section. Um, there's already a line outside, super cool. And uh, we got the optometry crew here and they put us in this cool classroom. All right, so we've pretty much set up a little deployed clinic here. We have dental in their own building down there. Um, my section is optometry and I'll show you what we got set up over here. And we have the auto refracts over here where we'll get the baseline for the prescriptions, we'll dilate them. Hey, how's it going, ma'am? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. good. <laughs> and then uh, after they're dilating, they'll sit over here in the corner for the chairs. Um, and then after 20, 30 minutes, the doctors will do their portion over here with the, auto uh, the four opters and give them prescriptions. And then we have limited supply, but there's some glasses over here that we'll be able to hand out. Wide for me. Try not to move. There you go. Just like that. Okay. Same thing with the other eye. The patient flow went really well and we finished up for lunch just after seeing about 30 patients for the morning. Looking for the best one here. Uh, chicken burrito. Chicken burrito. That's close. Burrito. We're getting there. This is a science project. Tear here to use the bag and then you add water to it which activates the little heat pack. Careful, careful. Don't cut yourself. How many years has it been since you ate an uh, MRE? Eight years ago? <laughs> I think I think six years ago for me. Twelve for you? Remove MRE. I need the food. So I can heat up your lunch. And then I need the pack. 
It's already hot out. Yes, it is. Our machine is boiling. All right, so you just add water to the fill mark. Do not overfill, so right here. And then just hope it doesn't explode. Oh my god. We're good. That's it. Do you have any questions? <laughs> have you ever used an MRE? Yeah. When, how long ago? Last year, last summer. A year ago? Make sure you don't overfill it. No, that's. And it gets hot fast. Like the worst thing you can do. Now you put it in with your food. Put it in with your food in that cardboard sleeve. You probably have like five seconds left until it starts to activate. Maybe yours is a dead one. <laughs> So after a quick break, we were back to seeing more patients. We finished up the day seeing about 75 patients, which is way more than we typically see back at our clinic. All right, so day one is complete. It was hot today. I am jumping in the shower and I turned up the AC. Uh, I'm gonna cool off, but we'll check out it tomorrow on day two. Good morning, guys. It is day two. We are out here at the school again. It's a new village that's coming by. Each day they've coordinated a different village to come in and get taken care of, so it's already hot. Uh, <laughs> I hope I make it. We got some mascots out here. That one's pretty cute. Hey, buddy. This one's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this one? Hey, bud. Hey. I don't think I'll let you bite me because I don't know, you know. You guys have a good day. All right, so here's the pharmacy getting all of the meds together for the patients. Living the dream. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Day two was similar to the first day. We were able to see about another 71 patients for the optometry side. The people here were so thankful for us coming down and helping out, and I even made a few new friends. Nice. <laughs> All right, so here's a map of Belize in our little kindergarten class that we're in. So Belize City County, we are over here in Orange Walk somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. Palo Rico and some, some chips. I think it's juices. The other one. Other one? Water. Uh, water. Oh, look, there it is. Bag juice. Bag juice. Just bite into the bag and drink it. Mmm. That's really good. It's tangy. There you go. It's like tang. It's off. Did you try yours yet? No, not yet. This is what I used to have when I was a kid. What is it? It's just like is juice it in a bag. <laughs> it's just juice, in, juice a bag. in a bag. It tastes like tang. It's really good. It's really good. Alright, so this is the dental clinic area and they do the teeth extractions right in the chairs. Um, here they numb it up and then they use the tools um, to get the infected teeth out. Uh, crazy. Dental did quite a few extractions and these kids are tough. I would have just walked right out of the room when I saw those tools laying in the table there. Alright, good morning. So it's day three. We had a bunch of trash in these blue bins right here. And uh, they burned it for us last night, unfortunately. Very close to where our clinic's at, so the smoke is kind of just blowing right inside there. Uh, very confused, uh, but it is what it is. So we're gonna get ready. Uh, we're packing up and moving to a different location today. And uh, did you find ants? Yeah. And we found ants. Just a cool, cool thing. All right, we're packing up because we're leaving to another spot. So we're just getting everything organized 
tomorrow we'll be at a different location. Morale is high. <laughs> On the third day, the morning was slow, but around 10 o'clock, we had a full room and a line way out the door. But we worked hard to get everyone seen, and it totaled to 138 patients yeah. by the end of the day. <laughs> All right, we're taking an adventure to find a coconut right this way. Oh. There it is. No, that's good. Okay. Fresh coconut from Belize. That's what she needed after a long day of work. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually really good, but I don't normally drink coconut water, so pretty cool. Alright, it's our last day of patient care. We're heading to San Marco, I think. Everyone's hopping in. Let's go, guys. We got my go. crew back in their spots. I took a few videos on the way out to the location, but it was a very bumpy and dusty road. It took us about 45 minutes until we arrived at the Santa Martha Government Preschool. Alright, so we've set up our little optometry section. Everyone's else is setting up theirs. Uh, the school is right here. Today, we were able to drive the vans right up to unload so we didn't have to carry them, which is super nice. And, uh, yeah, very dusty from the dirt road next door, so that was kind of cool coming in on all that. And, uh, it's supposed to get up to 97 today. Got some coconuts up here, maybe get another coconut water. But, yeah, people haven't shown up yet, but we are all set up and ready to go. All right, so here's the triage entrance area get all their vitamins here and then checked in with the papers and then they'll walk across over to where we're at. We got dental over there doing their thing. I'll go check out their section. Dental's all set up. They got their tools out on the table. Got some music playing over here. We need we need that in optometry. Next next trip we'll bring a radio. Alright this is my airman. Not my airman but roommate. He's uh been eating the local fruits. Do you know what they're called? No. No idea what they're called. But go ahead, tell us what, what they taste like. Yeah, it tastes like oranges. Like oranges, little baby oranges. So yeah. they got a little shell. So. And inside they're little orange. You take the top ball. Yeah. It's like a little orange ball. That's cool. And then it's got a seed. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a little tart. The seed is like, it's like 80% seed, 10% juice or yeah. whatever it is. And then the rest is just the wrapping. So just, all right, well, we'll find out later if they're healthier for you to eat or not with your uh, different diet of American food to Belize fruits. Mm -hmm. So I'll check in on you. All right. Take care. The final day, we saw 78 patients in optometry, and it was a really cool experience to be able to help out these guys with their eye care and health needs. Between all of us as a team, we saw over a 1,000 patients. A lot of them haven't had any medical care for the last three to four years due to the pandemic also. These are just a few of the photos of the rest of the team doing their stuff. And this TDY was short. We worked really hard, but it was very rewarding being able to be a part of it. All right, the humidity is insane, but we're all done. We're packing everything up. We got the NCTs in their box with MREs as packing and all of these. Uh, all the glasses we're leaving here with uh, BCVI so that they can continue to hand them out to other people that come to the clinic. Last patient of the day. And uh, yeah, very cool experience. Thanks for volunteering. Hi. <laughs> you were awesome today. <laughs> all right, so that is it. We're all leaving. Leaving the compound great mission super fun experience and thanks to everyone involved optometry Hi. optometry rules <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button it really helps us out and we'll see you guys in the next adventure